Hey guys, welcome to the JRB Tree Climbing Channel. Let's talk about SRT. As I started the SRT playlist a couple of years ago, the very first system I showed you was one in which all of the knots were tied in advance. And I've got a new version of that system today. Unfortunately, we picked a really windy day, and so you're going to need to deal with any audio clipping that we have. I'll try to overdub if I need to, but I wanted to get this in and show you what I have here. I've got another system with all of the knots tied in advance. It's just that I changed some things out. We are always looking for a better way to do our job. We're always looking for better tools in our toolbox, and I've given you some recently. Now, who would use a system like this? Well, because I generally don't. I generally climb with a universal system which has provision for DSRT. This is only 40 feet of rope. And so first off, this would appeal to somebody who's got 40 feet of rope or they want to minimize the amount of rope that they carry with them. They don't, they're not interested in carrying 60 or 80 feet of rope and 40 is the max. And the other thing that's appealing about the system is that no knots need to be tied at the climbing site and yet I can conduct an SRT climb with no mechanical devices. How can I do so? Well let's look at what's on either end of this rope. On the one end I have the recently introduced JRB Bolin and its unique feature where I can get it to sit in a 90 degree in a transverse fashion and thread the needle and I can get a friction hiss hitch pass through that on the fly. On the other end of the system, although you've seen me do this with the JRB Ascender, I've got a Longhorn Agile hitch. I've got two knots in the system and they were pre-tied. Now for extra credit on the one end I do have a JRB end loop and that's going to help me with my rope rigging. And so while I'm close to you here I'll show you how I engage that. I take this small rigging carabiner on my JRB end loop and I put it through the two loops on the Longhorn Agile and I'll simply get that to the end of the line because I'm going to be threading this through that. Now a detailed look at the parts of the system. On the left is one end of the rope and that is the Longhorn Agile hitch pulled all the way to the end and the two loops have this small carabiner on it and it also captures the end of the rope in the form of this JRB end loop. So those two components are bound together and nothing's going to get lost in, in the crotch. In the event that you couldn't pass this through the crotch, well then we need to back off, remove the friction hitch, and pop it back on. The other end of the rope, that's the JRB Bolin. And of course you're familiar with the JRB guard a hitch foot loop. Now I say that realizing that there's new folks hitting the channel all the time. So if you've got any questions, head on over to the website jrbtreeclimbing.com. Everything is laid out as organized as I could give it to you. And look in the video description for this video where I have links to all supporting materials. got it ready to go up into the tree. Here's my JRB Bolin. I locate it and, and make sure I know which way that it sits up. And I'll take my throw ball, this could be a power cord preset, and I drop it through. As this is ready to disappear, I'm going to put on my retrieval line. It's not only a retrieval line, it's my positioning line as this goes up into the canopy. It's going to ensure that I can thread the needle. Got 
got detailed videos on all of this stuff on the channel. Now that's just barely out of reach, but it is out of reach. Can you see that? It's really no problem for me to manipulate my left and right hand to thread the needle to pass that friction hitch through the JRB Bowen. And you can see I'm working with 40 feet of rope and a reasonable, reasonably height tree and crotch. So I've spent quite a bit of time working on this and testing it. You're not seeing a first time climb here. Been working on this for a while. Trying to give you options, give you tools in your toolbox. Okay. Now as per prior videos on the SRT playlist, you'll recall that there are three parts of any SRT system. The first component is the anchor. Well, my anchor is a running JRB Bolin that's safely cinched in the canopy. Part two is my primary means of attachment, and that is this, the Longhorn Agile Hitch. And part three is my means of advancement, my means of propulsion, and that's always pretty much the same. That's my JRB guard a hitch foot loop. Decided to let the SRT playlist grow in chronological order and so this scenario will be further down. I think we're up to scenario 11 now on the playlist but it'll allow you to watch the evolution of the system and the methods. This is demonstration of both a system and a method but the video is focused on the system. It's for those who are interested in building a system just for SRT. It would be easy to reconfigure the system with a couple more friction hitches and enable hitch climbing. We could turn it into a three hitch system, but this video is intentionally dedicated to show you how little we can invest in an SRT only system. I'm gonna hop on up there. My back will be towards you most of the time, but maybe you'll see something you haven't seen before. In the interest of time, I didn't bring my platform, but this is about the height that I would stop and affix it on the tree and then get up a little higher and get my feet on it. Okay, so this would be a pretty decent hunting height, maybe even a little higher than we need to. I'm gonna come on down. All the details on how I repel are already covered on the ch channel. And to retrieve the system, I simply reverse the process.
And here's how I coil up the system. I'll just grab that Jeremy Bolin and in an alternating butterfly coil method, don't even have to look at it, coil this up. So again, even though I don't use this system on most of my hunts because I prefer the flexibility of a universal system which allows me to do things such as hitch climb and such as if I had branches between the lines and I needed to execute a basal anchor SRT climb I can but this is a completely viable and minimal system and a, a lot of a lot of folks tell me they prefer it they prefer it um, just because they've got the rope all right, guys, stay tuned. I've got more coming. Thank you.